Today is January 19th, 2017. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a really cool new feature. We just released it. It's called Price Yak Listing Watcher. And this feature really lets us do two new things. It lets us get accurate view counts for your listings. Right now we do have view counts, but they're from eBay and they're very low quality. The data is bad. And the second thing this lets us do is something called just-in-time repricing. And this is really exciting. It's the biggest change we've made to the way repricing works since we came out with Price Shack Next. <clears throat> and uh, I'll show it to you in just a minute. I will do a demonstration. But first, I want to show you Price Shack Listing Watcher. <clears throat> it's really simple. You go to your store settings page here and then go to your general listing settings and then click this box here which is Price Yak Listing Watcher, and click Save Listing Settings. And this will take up to 24 hours to take effect because the way it works, when you save that box, we actually go into all of your listings and insert a small piece of code that lets us keep a closer eye on your listings. And so when you click the box, within 24 hours, we'll go and insert that in all your listings. Uh, don't worry, we don't change your pictures or description or title, um, nothing like that. And then when you create future listings, we will also add that code in there within 24 hours. So you can create them in Price Shack or any other tool and this thing will still work just fine. And then once that does take effect 24 hours later, you'll immediately start getting more accurate view counts in your D-list poor performers page over here. So that's super exciting. eBay had been giving us bad data for a long time and that's gonna be fixed as soon as you turn this on, we'll be start starting to count the views. Um, the second thing, which is really cool, it's called just-in-time repricing. And what this is, it's a safety net. Um, you know, the way Price Shack works is every 30 minutes for most items, um, if they've ever sold, we go and do a check uh, of the source price and availability. But every once in a while, you still might have one slip through where the price has gone up or the quantity, it's gone out of stock at the source. And uh, then you might see a max price exceeded in your automatic ordering. Well, this is gonna basically make that go away entirely. And I wanna show you how that works. So I've, I've got a listing here where I purposely set the price too low. My pricing formula wants this item to be over $100, but I put it down to $60. So I wanna show you what it looks like here. When I load that listing, whenever anybody views this listing, it actually, our system can see that somebody is viewing the listing now. And so what it does is it does a reprice of this item right now while the person is looking at the listing. And that gives you, you know, this way extra um, degree of safety to make sure that you have this item at a correct price and quantity. Now, again, in this case, this price is too low. So I wanna show you what happens when I try to buy it. You see, it actually went and, and Price Shack raised the price on this item um, and in the time that I was just reviewing the the page, like a buyer. And so for the buyer now, it's actually telling me this price has gone up to $140, which is exactly what you want. So it, this, this system would have just saved me from making a sale at a huge loss um, for, for this item. So that is called just-in-time repricing. It's really cool. I think it's going to save you a lot of money and a lot of canceled orders during the holiday season especially. And you get it, it's totally free. All you need to do is turn on the Price Shack Listing Watcher in your listing settings. I really highly recommend that everybody goes in and turns this on. We don't have it turned on um, for existing users, so you need to go in there and check it to turn it on. Um, let me know if you have any questions and thanks for using Price Shack.